Hey everyone, I'm back with another quick tip video on painting with acrylics. Uh, I'm working on the second part of my commission that I was talking about yesterday. Yesterday I did a video about creating subtle shadows with thinned out paint uh, using water and uh, my flat brush. Today I'm going to talk about something a little bit similar. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about subtle complements especially in a sky that's kind of subtle and atmospheric was the word I used yesterday. Uh, what you want to do is create a lot of different subtle complements in your colors. It'll really make uh, your painting tie together well and uh, it'll give it a really nice feel. Um, so I'm going to go with my flat brush again today and my spray bottle and what you might notice in this painting, I have violet, a little bit of purplish violet, and some yellow. Uh, I have a little bit of an orangish reddish, and then some bluish and greenish colors. And all of those are complements. Uh, blue and orange are complements, violet and yellow are complements, and then red and green. So even though I don't have those exact colors up here, I have colors that are close to yellow, close to violet, and they work well together. Uh, so when you're doing a subtle sky like this, you want to be subtle with your complements as well. Uh, on my palette, my palette's kind of messy here, but I have some of my purple, I have yellow ochre, I have Naples yellow, burnt sienna, and cobalt teal. Um, all kind of colors that I can make complements with. So the first thing I want to do is, right here I have a little bit of yellow. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mist over that area to make sure it's nice and thin. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my purple. And just lightly brush it in. Maybe I'll add a little bit of white to it. Okay, if I get too much paint, what I do is I wipe my brush off. You don't want it to be really strong. And then you kind of spread it out. And blend it in together. Okay, so we have a little bit of purple showing there. Then what I'm going to do is take a little bit of white and yellow ochre. kind of complement the purple a little bit over here next to it. Okay, the more water you use, the thinner the paint will be and the more subtle it will be. Just kind of kind of like the subtle shadows we made yesterday. So here's another example. I'll take some burnt sienna, a little yellow ochre, which will kind of make an orangish color. And I'll put a little spot on there, wipe my brush off. And kind of blend it in. Okay, I'll take a little bit of white to lighten it up. Another thing about using the subtle by uh, creating a lot of uh, moisture on the canvas and then on your palette, uh, you get a lot of transparencies. So the more you layer the paint, the more uh, you get all of these colors showing through and you get a really nice, luminous, atmospheric type of sky. Uh, a lot of times when you're working on skies, a lot of people just paint um, one color in and then don't work layers on top of it. All right, which is okay, you can do that, um, but if you want to get something that has a lot of depth to it, you want to layer a lot of thin, transparent colors so you get that more uh, luminous look to it. Okay, so I put in a little bit of my orangish color over here, then I'll take a little bit of uh, cobalt teal 
since that has a bluish tone to it, it kind of complements this orange. And as you can see, I just do really thin layers. Okay, and then we can continue, grab some more purple. You don't ever want it to be really dark unless you're going for a darker style painting. So to keep it light, just use water with your misting bottle and then spread the color out. Just kind of put it on in one little spot and then scrub it around. But by using all of these really subtle complementary colors layered on top of each other, you'll get this sky that has a really dramatic soft feel to it uh, and it's really appealing to the eye because there's so many compliments. If you have any questions you can visit my website. I have a lot of online painting lessons there. I'm also teaching some workshops throughout the country. If you're interested I have links in the description below. Uh, I'll be hitting a lot of different cities throughout this year and next year. Um, so it's a great way if you want to come paint with me in person make sure you sign up to one of those workshops. So that's the quick tip for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.